Good afternoon, hello, my name is Daniel and I've had a few days off of vlogging or recording a video about my life day to day, five or six days in fact. I've enjoyed the little break, hope you've enjoyed different styles of content on this channel. However, normality is going to resume. Now, I'd love a bit of a break because I've not been doing that much interesting training recently. It's been interesting for me to do it, but it's not particularly interesting for videos, but that sometimes is just how it is. I'm not running at the minute, so it's limited outdoor content, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you get the idea. But I've just ridden this morning indoors. I've done one hour and 45 minutes on Zwift, and I've had a really good ride. It's not often you you know finish a ride indoors and think, oh, that was really actually fun. But genuinely, it was. I, did, I picked a new route, so I can get a new route badge, try and work through the levels on Zwift. And in the, an hour and 45 ride, I came across a lad who rode away from us all at a road race a few weeks ago and won, Javier Gomez, and a couple of local guys as well. So like it's just been a really, you know, a little bit of chat and a little bit of just trying to beat people at hills and stuff. A really good, enjoyable ride, and I finished that feeling really motivated. And today I'm going to see George Fox. If you don't know him, he's an elite time trial rider, he's a bike fitter. What on earth are you doing? I'm just gonna ignore that. And we're gonna tell a couple of stories from him and do a few videos with George. This is what I tend to do at weekends. I tend to try and, however I do it, get three, four, five videos recorded over a weekend and I can edit them at the weekend or edit them during the week. It just relieves a bit of pressure from me during the week when I have more time at the weekends. And I do wanna try and put a variety of content out. So going to see people like George is good. Now it does take away from my life in that George is an hour and a half away, so it has to be like worthwhile going in terms of content, but I've been meaning to go and see George for the last few months and I've got some plans in the future which might involve him. So if I can just butter him up nicely, George, I know you might be watching this, but I'm buttering you up then. You know, it's all gonna help off the end. And George has helped me in the past as well. So look forward to going and seeing him. I'm gonna get cracking now. It's probably, what time are we on, like 11 o'clock. So I'll be with him for half 12, one o'clock, do an afternoon video recording, come back, and then hopefully have a nice evening with Liz watching films apparently, or a film because we fall asleep before films end nowadays. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I have arrived at George Fox's. Good afternoon, George. Hello. Now, we have done several videos already. We've got a couple more to go, though. So I'm not going to give a, a full tour of this place in this video. We'll go into too much detail, but is it going all right so far? I think so. I think it is as well. I mean, George has previously bought every single copy of Cycling Weekly, so I'm assuming he's going to watch every single one of these videos as well. Obviously. That works. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. George has got a new, well, relatively new premises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's still, it's still new. Yeah, so if you want to check him out for bike fitting services, time trial specifically, he is your he is your boy. I brought my bike, which we've done some stuff on. I brought my new bike, which we've done some stuff on, which is over there. And George has got more bikes than I have, which makes me feel a bit more okay. Sorry about that. Good stuff. Okay. Right. Call then, forget his last couple of videos knocked out. Let's do it. Just while George is getting changed, this is might be the main reason you know George, if you know him. This is his road bike that he set a 10 mile road bike record on earlier this year, which has since been bettered by Alex Pritchard. Great ride, Alex, but what a machine. We've got a video coming out on this in the next few days, and he's bought all the copies of Cycling Weekly that talked about it. So cool to see it in the flesh. It's basically a time trial frame with some road bike parts added onto it, but good build. And I've just made George ride it in a skin suit, <laughs> in position, George, isn't I? In, in the off-season. In off-season, yeah. Hairy legs and everything. All right, the day is done and dusted. George, thank you very much for your You're time. Welcome. George no isn't used to doing this sort of thing. I've come and rammed a camera in his face and you've been a good sport today. Give me tried. an afternoon of your time, which I know is very valuable, so thank you very much. No you've got a lot going off in life, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Coach, bike fitter, athlete, husband, there's always something all to do. walk the dog. Go walk the dog, dog daddy, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate it. No you. problem. Cheers. And this is George's house behind us as well. That's, that's not, <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> there you go, Liz, that's when you drop teal down here. Good evening, you okay? Yes, thank you. Just, Just go back. Go. From... Sorry, go Sorry. on. Just getting ready to tuck into this Indian. I know. I was going to end the video at George Fox's place, however, just got home and Liz has rustled up an Indian, haven't you, Liz? So what I'm going to do is eject this little rug rat and lock him out so he can have an evening meal in peace. And just hear about your day a little bit, what have you been doing? Just jobs today, oh. nothing major. Put some new plants in that I bought yesterday. I know, I saw a picture on your Instagram story. Yeah, seen to the chickens, done mm -hmm. some jobs. Awesome. Cleaning. That's all right, well. Watching TV. Good stuff, well. I've had a productive day. I feel like I've got a few videos in the bank from George. I really like working with George. He's a nice guy. He's helped me out in the past with 
insoles and bike fits and stuff. So hopefully going to go back to him when I've got my new bike sorted and have a fit. And we're even debating trying to get in the wind tunnel, but there's a few more moving parts to try and sort for that. What are you smoking at? I just wondered if that's in the shot. What? The cat? Oh, but <laughs> what's that? Oh, is that so the cat doesn't, he's been weaning on him, hasn't he? Yeah. It's been weighing on my curtains, mm. so that's to try and stop that happening. Mm, I think that's chic. Anyway, so yeah, I feel really happy I've got that. I think we've got five videos, so I'll get them edited either tonight or tomorrow. That takes a bit of stress off of my week, so I can spend a bit more time with you on the bike. So yeah, thanks to George. And uh, that's it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Plenty more content to come, and hopefully I'll be back running in the next week or two. My hips are feeling a lot better, but we'll see how it goes. See you tomorrow, one o'clock. See you later. Bye.